But yeah, so we show up with like this, you know, like nice little just gift or whatever for your birthday. And then Rosebud sees the gift and then just goes, I didn't bring a gift. Why didn't I bring a gift? Who is everybody bringing? Who get who gets people gifts? And she starts getting super self conscious and super defensive. <laughs> My sister shows up. She yeah, brings gifts, yeah. of course. <laughs> Rosebud runs to the front door to try and find a note and paper to hang on the door that says "No gifts" <laughs> to stop any potential gifts at the door. Yeah, what the fuck? So she is really having a tough time. So now it kind of calms down, which is this is perfect comedy, right? You hit the beat, you hit the beat, and then a nice rest, uh-huh. and then Sagalo shows up. Everyone's like, "Hey, hey, hey. he's." Shows up, he ha- he pulls up a fucking huge happy birthday bag. Yeah, with with like the inside tissue yeah, paper yeah, fluffed the- out, and he's like, "Happy birthday!" And, and Rosebud <laughs> goes from yay to seeing that bag and just blood red mad. It was just- the first time her forehead's moved in three months. <laughs> I mean, she was pissed. Yeah. And uh, what's funny is arched eyebrows are not typical. For so, her. Yeah. so. You reach in, you pull it out. No, well, I so I'm immediately like, thanks, Brendan. I appreciate it. Give him a handshake. Welcome him to the party. And I feel the bang. I'm like, oh, this is like really bottom heavy. So I don't think it's like a tall present. Right. And uh, and, and then I reached in and like I felt cold. Yeah. And a bottle. And my initial delusion that I have such good friends are like, <laughs> Wow, Brendan got me a nice bottle of whiskey. Like that was so thoughtful. I can't believe <laughs> nice he did cold that. Bottle yeah, of whiskey. I don't know why. <laughs> I just uh, I was like, wow, that was very nice. And then I felt the top and the the thing, and I was the just cap. Like, the cap. And I was like, son of a bitch, <laughs> son of a bitch. And I pulled out a twenty four ounce of fucking uh, smeared, smeared off, off ice. ice. Also, the what is that mimosa edition, yeah, which yeah. was exactly what we iced him with on New Year's Eve, which you already know because this is the Sopranos of podcast Woo! and you've been listening since motherfucking day one. Yep, yep. So we, we got him with a six pack, which, you know, six separate times is unacceptable on any type of level. <laughs> yeah. This was one time which was a dynamite dynamite get and fucking shook me out of my boots and i immediately accepted responsibility then got on my knee and chugged that like a fucking watch it on our instagram jizz, baby yeah. i mean i opened up my throat and that stuff went just cascading goes, <laughs> down like it was nothing yeah it was he did, he did it all in under 30 seconds is that it right on, it was on the instagram video God and so right. what the funny part was is when he was on the way over here sagalo was texting me he goes all right i'm getting closer he goes um he goes, did you get him something for his birthday? And I go, yes, but you should get him a smeared off ice. And he was like, oh, my God. Wow, you gave and him the idea? Did, and then, oh, <laughs> man. I had such high thoughts of Sagalo <laughs> until right now. I realized he didn't even do it. Wow. No, Fuck he was, you, Brendan. Yes, no, he admitted it at the time. He I guess did you not. didn't hear it. Oh, no. I, my ears were ringing because of that <laughs> fucking mimosa. Sugar. Yeah. Dude, drinking that is like taking a flash grenade. It's like yeah, yeah. nothing. You can possibly perceive anything. He said, so he said he was walking around on the street with just the bottle, like panicking and going into places and he couldn't find a bag, you know, a little vehicle to oh deliver this to you. Oh, my God. Walking down Nostrand Ave with a bottle of Smirnoff in between all this homeless is like the gauntlet in American yes. Gladiators. <laughs> So <laughs> everybody's trying to get it. And yeah, toss you the fuck. he's just got a big Q-tip. He's hitting people with. Her. So no. So this woman apparently walked up to Brendan and she was like, "Are you looking for something?" Because he's like, eh, eh, you know. And then she goes, "He goes, I'm trying to ice my friend, and I need a bag to hold this." And she goes, "Right there, sugar." And then points to the place, and he was like, "Thank you." And he like skipped away like Charlie in the uh-huh. chocolate factory. And then he fucking he went and got the bag and did it, which is so funny because we left like probably like shortly thereafter, but within an hour of that happening i see a video that we'll put on our instagram of you just out cold (laughs) yeah that's what i had to sleep until they started taking happy birthday and you snapped out of it like you were never sleeping (laughs) i feel like dude i that i felt the change in my body chemistry as soon as i had that smear off right i was already like having a good time i had a few i I was drinking beers which i think helped i know it's terrible for my jawline but it actually helps me stay moderately sober instead of weirdly enough double uh vodka sodas don't do that right and so i you know i'm i'm like kind of maintaining and then my friend made me this whiskey sour thing and i had that and then the smear off came on top of it on top of the blunt and a half that we had smoked before then and i'm just like fucking fired up from connor and then that and then i'm just like (laughs) yeah (laughs) just (laughs) immediately sleep the fuck out but it's so great because you see you just because the beginning of the video you don't know what's happening it's just you sleeping you're like oh that's kind of cool then all of a sudden you the camera pans and it just happy birthday with all these candles. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that happened to me? 
a New York comedy club also? When I was on stage, I was hosting and I was about to bring up the next comic, which was Tom Cassidy. I'm, I'm like talking to the crowd and then I go, all right, next comic. And I bring him up and I see him walking on stage with like flames in yeah. his hand. And I'm like, is he doing a prop? New bit? Like, bit? Yeah, I was like, what is this? Is he holding a drink coaster with like yeah. candles? Like he's going to give them out to each table. This is what's going through my brain on my birthday. Yeah. And then he's like, Anything then he starts but singing happy birthday to me. And I'm like, oh, I didn't expect that at all. <laughs> and then this crowd that I was crushing with all night goes, happy birthday to. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you want to make your Irish goodbye.